you guys what is up we are on the video three of the night and we are here for all rise and i want to start off this review by apologizing to the actress who plays emily because i thought that she was drina i didn't even go there but i thought she was old girl that everybody was talking about on twitter and today and that's my apologies she is actually the actress from miss molly and i feel a way about that because that was a good movie like i thought they were gonna end up because she was with that beautiful man who i don't know how to say his name and that's my ignorance and i'm sorry but i'm pretty sure he's from hispanic uh descent he's just so fun like he was a drug dealer, whoop, whoop, whatever, whatever. But y'all done fought and got through this whole movie together. You were supposed to kill a dude, get your friend, and you run off into the sunset with this beautiful man. But you done shot him just so you could become a detective. Like, Barry right know how I feel. I'm always rooting for the bad guys. It was just like, anyway, but I apologize for getting too mixed up. Anyway, so we are starting with uh, Emily coming to the jail. She got a suit. And she got some tacos and she's there to see her uh her client who is dylan frank dylan is accused of aiding and abating aiding and abetting a murder and uh what they what judge carmichael is doing today is packing up her courtroom and they are going to the scene of the crime together so they can reenact what happened that night so they load everybody up on the bus they get there so it was a club and with that they are t uh having the uh people who run the club they're gonna turn on the music just like it was that night and they're gonna have an officer fire two blank shots you know just to see like have the jury see for them for themselves if they can hear the shots over the music and so of course like they start the music and then you have the officer fire the shots you can't hear nothing with how loud that music was and that boom 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 you know so with that it's just like uh emily feeling good she's like we don't prove our point he didn't know what was going on he was just sitting in the car waiting on his friend to come back out of, out the club he don't know what he did or what he could have been doing um and so they pack it up to get ready to go and here comes a, like she's walking fast and then like you can just hear other cars coming so everybody's like something is going on like what's going on uh there was a active shooter you know like in the vicinity so they had to go inside the club and they were on lockdown for a few minutes but with that one of the jurors got like really nervous and uh, Judge Carmichael is right there. She's like, are you okay? And she's like, no, what if it was, what if, did he call one of his friends and tell them that we were gonna be here? You know, it's like, so what? So he can shoot y'all? Like that don't look good for him if he would have did that. So I'm just looking at her like, girl, calm down. You are doing the utmost right now. Like why would, and first of all, who's he calling like, hey, I'm about to be out on the street, you know, come shoot it up. Like and Dylan, like Dylan can see that he's a smart guy he's just like uh they think I did it anyway and it's just like you know I got a criminal past so it's just like it don't look good for me you know like I'm about to go to jail for something that I did not do and so he gets emotional and I'm just like I got a little bit emotional because I'm just like you know what they do to I'm not, hey 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 I didn't ask for a co-star on this video chill out uh And that's me talking to my rumbling stomach. Ain't nothing actually in here. Just want to clear that up. There, I almost said something. Never mind. Uh, is <laughs> sorry. Uh, I lost my train of thought. What am I doing? Uh, Dylan, sorry. Like, as soon as I said that, I was like, that thought just popped into my head. I can't stand kids. We are not here for this. Uh, so, yeah, so now Emily and the judge are feeling the way because it's just like, this might have backfired 
instead of doing what they thought it would do, which was open the jury's eyes. Because now they're looking at him like he ain't nothing but a thug. And so he wanted to go on the stand in the first place. But Emily was like, no, you have a record and the prosecutor ain't going to do nothing but hold that against you. And so after this happened, like Emily had to change her. She's like, no, let's put you on the stand and we're going to bring up. He was like, you know, what about my record? She said, we're going to bring that up first. And, you know. I guess like flip it or get on it before the prosecutor has a chance to even bring it in because Emily already feel like she racist and like has a prejudice towards Dylan anyway and so she brought it up and she's like oh like what did you do and why did you do it he was like uh we just stole a bench and tossed it around come to find out they tossed it into a storefront and uh you know basically trying to say that they were stealing and uh you know she's just going at him and he stood up and he's like you don't know me and when he raised his voice and he stood up she gets to play the scared uh white woman and so do the jurors they already think it's something about him so when he stands up and like you don't know me it's just like oh my god everybody even the uh white men that were on the jury they just get to go back like oh but no, you know, like get the place scared. It's just like, girl, boo. Uh, so they felt like that hurt him too, cause it plays it too. Like he knew what he was doing. He knew that he was sitting out in that car waiting for him to shoot him, come in, and he, you know, drove off and took him home. But he's like, no. Uh, what's his name? Chris. He was like, Chris is has been my friend from childhood. It's like we, you know, we've done everything together. And uh, he thought he was taking him to the club to get some drugs and come to find out, you know, he was coming there to do that. But it's just like, I didn't know that he did that. And I, you know, like I didn't do it this, I'm in college, but come to find out he's actually not in college. He was in college, but he hasn't been for six months because like he said, he like tuition high. I don't make enough to pay for it. You know, I guess with his I won't say with his record, he, I don't know, but I guess, like, he could afford to pay for it, by the line, so it's just like, I'm sorry that I lied, but I'm not this person that you're trying to pay me out to be, long story short, he gets to walk, because I guess they believed him, he's just like, you know, that's not my fault, I didn't do that, and, uh, Mark, this episode is working a drug kick. Even, sorry, even when we drinking all that water, I feel like my mouth is dry. And I see my lip balm, but I'm just too lazy to reach over. Uh, yeah, he's working a drug case, but he's working with the detective from the first episode that planted the evidence with the shoe with the uh, Hispanic lady. And uh, what I want to say. Mark is on the phone telling Judge Carmichael all about it. And as soon as she, I think her name is Jackie, she's like, as soon as she hear that name, she's like, uh, check everything. He's like, what? What she mean? He, she said, just listen, make check all, any evidence you get, anything you get, tip anything, check it. So, he does that. And come to find out, once again, she, uh, she had, uh, informant. And her informant told her that he was at the place that the drug dealer was at uh because he has a car shop as a front and he was there and he saw him making a drug deal but they also had it on tape you know like have i guess like some wires up in there they had it on tape but all of it was phony it was just like it would not hold up in court and if the defense attorney would have got a hold to it, it would have been over. So it's just like, once again, like, you don't do your job right. On the first episode, she was just trying to say, you know, like, I'm a woman. And if they find out that you're, you know, if you make one mistake as a woman, you, you're done for. And it's just like, no, sis, you just suck at your job. And you're, you know, like, you're messing over people just to get these convictions when it may not even be true. It's just like, yeah, y'all got the guy on tape selling the drugs, but you didn't go about it the right way. So he gets to walk free. I mean, drug dealers should be in jail anyway. And, you know, I'm always on the side of the drug dealer. Uh, before he was snitching and got shot, New Jack City is my favorite movie, and I love Nino Brown. But it's just like, man, he went out like a sucker. 
It's like that, good for any drug dealer movie. I mean, except for Shadow Boys. That movie. <laughs> Cause you know it's like a hood classic, but that movie is awful. But don't tell anybody I said that. Uh oh yeah, so I was just I was trying to think where it was. So Mark, like he went and found her informant to talk to her informant. It was just like he was like, aren't y'all on the same side? It's just like, she tells me to say this, and I say it. So it's just like, what, you want me to say something else? Nah, he's like, no, I want you to tell the truth. So then he meets up with her and was just like, you know, what? what's your purpose? Like, if you're not going to go about it the right way, we can't get people. And she's like, are you really, like, going to come home through my evidence or whatever? And he's like, yeah, to make sure that it sticks. We want this guy in jail, and any technicality that the defense could get, they're gonna take it. And uh, so then he goes talks to his boss, who then calls her boss, which is the uh, the black guy from the first episode that told Judge Carmichael, like, if you ever have a problem with well, one of my detectives, you know, let me know. And so like they all in the office talking, and she's like, well, I need to call my union, and I need to call my lawyer. I'm like. Yeah, you do, sis, because you're this close to being convicted yourself while you're trying to send other people to jail. Uh, and so, Mark has to dismiss the case, you know, because he wouldn't have worn that. And, uh, yeah, that was it. We still got Emily and uh, Luke flirting during their beginning stages. Because at the end, uh, Emily is walking Dylan out, and he told, he's like, you know, and I get what he was saying. He was like, I hope to never see you again. She was like, you won't. Like, don't worry about it. And then we have Emily and Luke flirting. And it was cute. I'll be happy, like, when they get together, get together. And that was it for this episode. I like All Rise and Bluff City Law. I'm here for it. I love these two shows. I love court shows or, like, detective shows. Even, <laughs> keep that crazy. Like, even though I'm on the side of, like, the villains, I also like watching Whatever, whatever. Anyway, it is way past my bedtime. I should have been in bed like an hour and a half ago. But I'm going to try to upload all three of these videos tonight. And I will see you guys next week. Unless I find something I want to talk about. Because I still, I was supposed to rant about my job. But, eh, you know, like work chronicles, what can you do? Those people just get on my damn nerves. Uh... But yeah, let's not find something that I want to talk about. Sorry about that. I had an incoming call that interrupted my video. I was just signing off anyway, but yeah, peace.